Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much for inviting me. I would like to uh, introduce myself. I'm uh, Dr. Ankita Shukla, and uh, I'm assistant professor in the GNIT College. So, uh, shall I start? So my topic is uh, ICT tools and online resources. Basically, if the only tool you have is a hammer, you tend to see every problem as a nail, according to Abraham Maslow. And uh, multiple uses of tools, just like a technology is a very versatile tool, a bit Hello. like a screwdriver. A screwdriver can screw and unscrew screws. Can also be used to pry open paint, clean plates, be used as a stirrer, as a hole punch, as a hammer, as a tool for reaching the object that is always just to, out of reach, etc. So, basically, definition of tool is defined as anything that adds us in accomplishing a task. Tools and techniques can be broadly defined as the practical methods and skills applied to specific activities to enable improvements. It's a uh, uh, tools uh, just like a wonderful and powerful things. We use hundreds of them every day for a multitude of simple and complex purposes. An alarm clock wakes us up, we clean our teeth with one, we brush our hair with another, we iron our clothes, we butter our toast, etc. All with tools. And uh, just like a computer-based services can be used to search for and find relevant information in a range of contexts. So uh, computer-based services and uh, uh, basically can be used to retrieve information using variety of media. Computer-based services can be used to write, analyze, present, and communicate information. Uh, technological tools, just like uh, technology communication tools to collaborate, publish, and interact with peers, experts, and audiences. Technology research tools to locate information, to process data, and report results. Technology productivity tools construct models, technology problem solving, and decision making tools. So, in in many ways, we used different different types of tools in our uh, basic life. Uh, just like a multiple use of technology tools, thoms at all. Uh, Technology can be used as a tool for inquiry, a tool for construction, a tool for communication, a tool for expression, a tool for productivity, and a tool to assist in problem solving and the making of informed decisions. Any technology which increases the rate of learning would enable the teacher to teach less and the learner to learn more. So information technology applications distributed and self-based learning at any time, anywhere, the world wide web provides unlimited data and experiences. Electronic messaging, virtual learning environments, and the learning use of computer-based technology, learning from the technology, learning about the technology, and learning with the technology. So new technology, digital paradigm, ICT become a key element in economic development. ICT plays a significant role in the growth of societies, economies, and poverty alleviation. ICT provides more responsive and transparent governance, as well as improving the reach and delivery of health, education, and other social services. Information and communication technology of nations, if we describe that, is defined as the study or use of electronic equipment, especially computers for storing, analyzing, and sending out information. Communication technology is the process of sending, receiving, and exchanging information. ICT literacy basically involves using digital technology, communication tools, or access, manage, integrate, evaluate, and create information in order to function in a knowledge society. So. ICT tools, multimedia, PC, laptop, notebook, CDs, DVDs, digital video, street camera. Internet and its tools, email, browsers, websites, search engines, etc. 
and uh, video audio conferencing, digital libraries, interactive TVs, Microsoft publishing, newsletter, poster, brochure, etc. Major roles of ICT as a source of knowledge, as a medium to transit knowledge, as a means of interaction and dialogue. So basically, ICT characteristics are uh, most interactive, free of errors, customized, personalized, and uh, and different different types of resources of sharing, wide variety of services, flexibility, reliability, faster speed, cheaper cost, and uh, basically, the so, uh, main role in ICT in learning, ICT helps to provide interactive learning experiences. ICT stimulate and motivate learners. ICT provide comfortable learning. ICT tools add solve in the understanding of difficult concepts and processes. ICT caters to different learning styles. ICT helps students to gain valuable computer skills. ICT adds in collaboration and group work. And uh, word processing documents, notes, projects, assignments, spreadsheet, programming, records, exam, scores. And during COVID period, it's uh, very common for all, for teachers, for students, and for all. Databases, information storage, graphing uh, software to prepare teaching learning resources, developing multimedia kits to make process interesting, and internet and email facilities to gain knowledge, games and simulations to improve quality of learning. So it's basically digital tools for textual data benefits of many graphs. To graph, we emphasize many things. It's like the clarity of message, simplicity of design, clarity of words, integrity of uh, intentions and action, and if very basic features of graph. The best graphs communicate their purpose with case. And they show trends and relationships. They attract attention. So uh, what are the basic knowledge maps? A visual representation of knowledge, a way of structuring uh, information into organized patterns, a way to promote active learning, a way to access students' previous experience and knowledge, and uh, graphic organizers, community organizers, advanced organizers, concept maps, concept diagram, thinking maps, knowledge maps come in different forms each one best suited for organizing a particular type of information preparation of knowledge maps firstly we generate ideas structure ideas compute the map edit the map present the map and evaluate the key map so why knowledge maps why we use knowledge maps graphic organizers help to communicate large amounts of information more easily they allow easy editing and drawing different perspectives. They are flexible in application. Uh, they are ideal for many types of learners. They offer greater retention. And uh, just like a core knowledge map, just uh, brainstorming maps and task specific maps. So, what are the different types of knowledge maps? Firstly, it's uh, hierarchical organizers. Present in ideas and supporting details in ranking order. Next one is comparative organizers, depict similarities among key concepts, sequential organizers, illustrate a series of steps or place events in a chronological order. Cyclical organizers depict a series of events that have no beginning or no end. So uh, next and last one is conceptual organizers. Conceptual organizers include a main concept with supporting facts, evidence, or characteristics. So brainstorming maps are concept map, mind map, fishbone map, and spider map. So concept map, including a main half topic on the center and lines radiating in all directions with subtopics and facts branching off from the main topic. Just like a task specific maps, we talk about that, a bubble map, double bubble map, circle map, chain of events, clustering map, cycle map, race map and interaction outline, problem solution, persuasion map, time model map, e-map, flow map, and tree map. What is mind mapping? If you talk about the mind mapping, mind mapping was originated by Tony Wilson in 1971. Mind mapping involves writing down a central idea and thinking of new and related ideas, which radiate out from the center. Then looking for branches out and connections between the ideas. 
फिस बोन मैपिंग द हेड ऑफ द फिस रिप्रेजेंट अ प्रॉब्लम इश्यू और प्रोजेक्ट रिप्स ऑफ द फिस रिप्रेजेंट कंपोनेंट पार्ट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम एंड रिलेटेड एलिमेंट ऑफ ईच पार्ट इट हेल्प्स टू आइडेंटिफाई एक्सप्लोर एंड डिस्प्ले द पॉसिबल कॉजेज ऑफ ए प्रॉब्लम नेक्स्ट वन इज डबल बबल मैप दिस मैप इज यूज फॉर कंपेयरिंग एंड कॉन्ट्रास्टिंग टू थिंग्स टू कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ स्टोरी टू हिस्टोरिकल फिगर्स एंड टू सोशल सिस्टम्स सर्कल मैप keyboard mouse and monitor so there is a circles of a uh, in a computer keyboard mouse and monitor functions type point click colors pictures icons spaces there are a circle this map is used for seeking context and brainstorming it has two concentric circles in the middle of the circle you put the key ideas and the outside circle you put everything you know about those ideas cycle uh, attempts to show how a series of events interacts to produce a set of results again and again so clustering map just like uh, you see in the diagram that it's a clustering map it generates ideas images and feelings around a stimulus word it helps to organized descriptive information on a topic and it enables to group items into categories and to see matters in one side here face map is used for identifying the part whole physical relationship of an object to and uh, if you talk about the placement then it's uh, by representing whole part and part sub part relationships this map supports learners spatial reasoning and different things so it's a it's very common that how can we use uh, ict tools in uh, today's learning environment it's uh, basically a uh, 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 stand for information and communication technologies and are defined for the purpose of this primer as a diverse set of technological tools and resources used to communicate and to create disseminate store and manage uh, information those technologies include computers internet broadcasting technologies radio and television telephony uh, in recent years there has been a groundswell of interest in how computers and the internet can best be harnessed to uh, that uh, to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of education at all levels and in both formal and non formal settings but icts are more than just these technologies older technologies such as the telephone radio television although how to the left attention have a longer and richer history as uh, instrumental tools for instance radio and television have for over 40 years have used for open and distance learning although print remains the cheapest more uh, accessible and therefore most dominant delivery mechanism in both developed and developing countries the use of computers and the internet is still in its infancy in developing countries if these are used at all due to limited infrastructure and the attendant high cost of access then moreover different technologies are typically used in combination rather than as a Total delivery mechanism. For instance, the Kothmali community radio internet use both radio broadcast and computer and internet technologies to uh, to facilitate the sharing of information and provide educational opportunities. In a rural community in Sri Lanka, similar. Li similarly, the Indira Gandhi National Open University in India combines the use of print. recorded audio and video broadcast radio and television and audio conferencing technologies so uh, we will talk about e learning e learning is the most commonly associated with higher education and corporate training e learning encompasses uh, learning at all levels both formal and non formal that uses an information network the internet and intranet or extranet whether wholly or in part for course delivery interaction evaluation and or facilitation others prefer the term online learning 
Web-based learning is a subset of e-learning and refers to learning using an internet mainly, using a browser such as Chrome or Firefox or Internet Explorer. And if you talk about the blended learning, blended learning refers to learning models that combine traditional classroom practice with e-learning solutions. For example, students in a traditional class can be assigned both print-based and online materials have online mentoring sessions with their teacher to chat and are subscribed to a class email list or a web-based training course can be enhanced by periodic face-to-face -face instruction. Blending was prompted by the recognition that not all learning is best achieved in an electronically mediated environment, particularly one that dispenses with a live instructor or to be the instead of consideration must be given to the subject matter, the learning objectives and outcomes. The characteristics of the learner and the learning context in order to arrive at the optimum mix of instrumental and delivery methods. So uh, what is uh, ICP and uh, what is the meant by a learner in a centered environment? If we talk about the learner-centered environment, the National Research Council of the U.S. defines learner-centered environments as those that uh, pay careful attention to the knowledge, skills, attitudes, and beliefs that learners bring with them to the classroom. The impetus for learner-centeredness uh, derives from a theory of learning called constructism which views uh, learning as a process in which individuals construct meaning based on prior knowledge and experience. Experience enables individuals to build a mental models or schemes, which in turn provide meaning and organization to subsequent experience. Thus, uh, knowledge is not out there, uh, independent of the learner and which the learner possibly receives. As the knowledge is created through an active process in which the learner transforms information, constructs hypotheses, and makes decisions using his and her mental models. A form of constructivism called social constructivism also emphasizes the role of the teacher, parents, peers, and other community members in helping learners to master concepts that they would not be able to understand on their own or social constructives. So learning must be active, contextual, and social. It is best done in a group setting with the teacher as facilitator or guide. It's not mean that uh, how can we deserve an ICT for lifelong learning. A role of ICT learning, we are living in a constantly evolving digital world. ICT has an impact on nearly every aspect of our lives. Uh, from working, socializing, learning to playing, the digital age has transformed the way young people communicate, network, seek help, access information, and learn. We most recognize that young people are now an online population, and access is through a variety of means, such as computers, TV, and mobile phones. So as technology becomes uh, more and more embedded in our culture, and uh, we must provide our learners with relevant and contemporary experiences that allow them to successfully engage with technology and prepare them for life after school. It is widely recognized that learners are motivated and purposefully engaged in the learning process. When concepts and skills are underpinned with uh, technology and sound pedagogy, Learning and Teaching uh, Scotland aims to provide resources for practitioners, parents, and pupils to engage with these technologies in order to inform and enhance the learning experiences. Impact of ICT on student achievement. If you talk about the impact of ICT on student achievement, the positive impact of ICT using education has not been proven. In general, and despite thousands of impact studies, the impact of ICT use and student achievement remains difficult to measure and open to much reasonable debate. Positive impact more likely when linked to pedagogy. It is believed that uh, specific uses of ICT can have positive impacts. And positive effects on student achievement when ICT are used approximately 
to complement our teachers' existing pedagogical philosophies. Computer added instruction has been uh, seen to slightly improve student performance on multiple choice standardized texting in some areas. And uh, computer added instruction, which refers generally to student self study or tutorials on PCs, has been shown to slightly improve student test score on some reading and uh, math skills. Although whether such improvement correlates to real improve improvement in the student learning is debatable. So need for clear goals. As it is are said to be less effective or ineffective. Sure. When the goals for their use are not clear, which, uh, while such a statement would appear uh -huh. to self-evident the specific goals for ICT using education. In practice, are often only very broadly or rather loosely defined. There is an important tension between traditional versus new pedagogies and standardized testing. Traditional transmission type pedagogies are seen as more effective in preparation for standardized testing. This tends to measure the results of such teaching practices than are more constructive pedagogical styles. Mismatch between methods used to measure effects and type of learning promoted. So, uh, in many studies, there may be a mismatch between the methods used to measure effects and the nature of the learning promoted by the specific uses of ICT. For example, some studies have looked only for improvements in traditional teaching and learning processes and uh, knowledge mastery instead of looking for new processes and knowledge rapid to use of ICTs. Maybe that more useful analysis of the impact of ICT can only emerge when the methods used to measure achievement and outcomes are more closely related to the learning activities and process promoted by the use of ICTs. So ICT are used differently in different different school subjects, just like use of ICTs that is Simulations and modeling in uh, science and math have been shown to be effective as a word processing and uh, communication software in the development of a student language and communication skills. Uh, access outside of school affects impact the relationships between in class, student computer use, out of class student computer use, and student achievement are unclear. However, students in uh, OECD countries uh, are reporting the greatest among of com computer are outside school are seen in some studies to have lower than average achievement. The presumption is that high computer use outside of school is disproportionately uh, devoted to computer gaming. So users believe that ICTs make a positive difference in studies that rely largely on self-reporting most users feel that using ICTs make them more effective learners. Effect of ICT and student motivation. ICTs motivate teachers and students both. This appears to be general uh, consensus that both teachers and students feel ICT use greatly contributes to student motivation for learning. Access outside of school affects user confidence. No surprisingly, students who use a computer at home also use them in school more frequently and with more confidence than focus who have no home access. And where to place computers has an impact. Placing computers in classrooms enables such greater use of ICTs for higher order skills than placing computers in separate computer laboratories. Indeed, fewer computers in classrooms may enable even more use than greater number of computers located in separate computer labs. And related to this is an increasing attention given to the use of laptops by both teachers and students. And in some cases, uh, computers on wheels, as well as to a much lesser extent, to the use of personal digital assistants and other mobile devices. Models for successful integrating ICT using school and after school hours are still emerging. There are few successful models for the integration of student computer use at home or in off other information settings outside of school facilities with using school. 
the appropriate ages for introducing computers to students are 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 hardly debated on a general level appropriate ages for a student ict use in general are unclear however it is clear that the certain uses are more or less appropriate given student ages and abilities emerging research uh, causes against uh, widespread use at younger ages and icts can promote learner autonomy evidence exists that use of icts can increase learner autonomy for certain learners uh, gender affects impact uses of icts in education in many cases to be affected by the gender of the learner the pilot effect can be an important driver for positive impact dedicated ICT related interventions in education that uh, introduce a new tool for teaching and learning may show improvements merely because the efforts surrounding with such interventions lead teachers and students to do more potentially diverting energies and resources from other activities. So ICT for lifelong learning, promoting uh, lifelong learning by ICT. ICTs um, are a potentially powerful tool for extending educational opportunities, both formal and non-formal, to previously underserved constituencies, uh, scattered and rural populations, groups traditionally excluded from education due to cultural or social reasons, such as ethnic minorities, girls and women, persons with disabilities with their learning, as well as all others who, for reasons of cost or because of time constraints are unable to enroll on campus so anything anywhere one defining feature of icts is uh, their ability to transcend time and space icts make possible as soon as learning or learning characterized by a time lag between the delivery of instruction and its reception by learners online course materials for example uh, may be accessed 24 hours a day, seven days a week. ICT-based educational delivery, uh, example, just like um, uh, educational programming broadcast over radio or television, also dispenses with the need for all learners and the instructor to be in the um, physical location. Additionally, certain types of ICTs, such as uh, teleconferencing technologies enable instruction to be received simultaneously by multiple geographically dispersed learners access to access to uh, remote learning resources and uh, teachers and learners are longer have to rely uh, solely on printed uh, books and other materials of physical media housed in libraries and available in limited quantities for their educational needs with the internal and the worldwide web a wealth of learning materials so in almost every subject and in a variety of media can now be accessed from anywhere at any time of the day and by an unlimited number of people this is particularly significant for many schools in developing countries and even some in developed countries that have limited and outdated library resources. ICTs also facilitate access to resource persons, mentors, experts, researchers, professionals, business leaders, and peers all over, all over the world. So active learning ICT enhanced learning mobilizes tools for examination, calculation and analysis of information this providing a platform for student inquiry analysis and construction of new information learners therefore learn as they do and whenever appropriate work on real life problems in depth making learning less abstract and more relevant to the learner's life situation in this way and in contrast to memorization based on uh, learning ICT enhanced learning promotes increased learning engagement. Uh, ICT enhanced learning is also just in time. Learning in which learners can choose what to learn, they learn to it. So collaborative uh, learning ICT uh, supported learning encourages interaction and cooperation among students, teachers, and experts regardless of where they are. Apart from modeling real-world interactions, ICT supported 
learning provides learners the opportunity to work and people from different cultures thereby helping to enhance learners learning and communicative skills as well as their global awareness and it models learning then through the learners lifetime by expanding the learner space to include just not just peers but also mentors and experts from difficult fields so creative learning i think we support the learning promotes the manipulation of existing information and the creation of real world products rather than the regularization of received information uh, integrative learning i think enhanced learning uh, promotes a thematic integrative approach to teaching and learning this approach eliminates the artificial separation between the different disciplines and between theory and practice that characterizes the traditional classroom when we to learning ict enhanced learning is a student directed and diagnostic uh, unlike static text or print based educational technologies ict enhanced learning recognizes that there are many different learning pathways and many different articulations of knowledge Mm -hmm. ICTs allow learners to explore and discover rather than merely listen and remember. So, um, teacher professional development. If, uh, if we talk about the ICT for teacher professional development, educational ICT tools can be divided into three categories: input source, output source, and others. Input source, output source, and others. It's like I. if you talk about the input so that there are visualizer document camera student response system and the application software and next when if you talk about the output source output source is a projector display monitor tv etc and others others there are a digital camera digital recorder switcher other technologies there are many different different types of technologies and worldwide research has shown that ICT can lead to improved student learning and better teaching methods. A report made by the National Institute of Multimedia Education in Japan proved that an increase in student exposure to educational ICT through curriculum integration has a significant and positive impact on student achievement. So, especially in terms of knowledge, comprehension, practical skill, and presentation skill in subject areas such as uh, mathematics, science, and uh, social study, there are many advantages of ICT tools for education. Two ICT images can easily be used in teaching and improving the retentive memory of students. So, ICT teachers can easily explain complex instructions and ensure students' comprehension. Through ICT, teachers are able to create interactive classes and make the lessons more enjoyable, which could improve uh, student attendance and concentration. ICT professional development. There is a wide variety of professional development opportunities to assist teachers and social uh, and school leaders to embrace the possibilities of ICT to enhance student learning. Increase efficiency of school operations and advance lifelong learning. The mode may vary from participating in an online discussion list or web conference to undertaking an action research project. <laughs> Sorry, teachers' professional development toolkit. There is a teachers' professional development toolkit. This toolkit contains a set of resources uh, used to introduce information. Uh, and communication technology into teacher education the <laughs> utility of these resources span from and creating an ict in education strategy so collecting education data considering approaches to advocacy designing curriculum to materials development and provides a set of open materials that could be used for training new or in service teachers So the tools contained here were developed through a partnership of UNESCO, the Commonwealth Secretariat, the Commonwealth of Learning (CEL), Microsoft, and the Ministers of Education of a number of countries in the Caribbean and Pacific committed to enhancing teacher education. The approach suggested by these tools and supported by the accompanying uh, justification contained. 
here cause for an adoption and where necessary the adaption of open education resources selected and uh, aligned to the UNESCO ICT competency framework for teachers. The UNESCO ICT CFT provides structure for a comprehensive ICT education programming or course. Using technologies to train teachers. Uh, there are many technologies or tools to improve and expand teacher professional development, TPD activities, teacher incentives, supporting TPD in schools and colleges, and follow up and communications, mobile phones, and support tools, support from school leadership or colleges leadership, and support from the community, technical support, collaborative support, web resources, internet resources, training for using ICT. Professional development components for technology program in teacher professional development in the use of technology. Sam Garrison and Jack D. Gadio is the following as being fundamental components in any professional development for technology program. Direct connection to student learning. The goal of teacher professional development is improve student achievement. The ICT that is used in the classroom should be relevant to student needs. Hence, of technology use, this requires developing of core technology competencies and skills and actual application of skills in the classroom. So, curriculum and specific applications to the fullest extent possible, teachers need to see a direct link between technology and the curriculum for which they are responsible. New roles for teachers as facilitators and guides, not simply as lecturers or instructors. Active participation of teachers and collegial learning and professional development as an ongoing process. So a major factor that influences whether teacher training program are successful or not is the attitude of the teachers. Motivation and incentives are essential. And one way to motivate teachers to take part in ICT training programs is to accredit the courses and another motivating factor is linking teachers training progress to their salary teachers can also uh, become motivated by learning about how new technological skills allow them to break their professional uh, isolation and share everything from lesson plans to the trials of the position with other teachers also teachers can be motivated to learn about technologies uh, if they understand how technology can boost their productivity and improve learning in their classrooms. So UNESCO realizes that any educational reform of a country means little without the support of those of the heart of education. And so teachers are at the core of our program. Professional development cannot be seen in isolation, separation but should be considered in the context of the broader educational reform involving the development of supportive policy infrastructure communication and curriculum approach to teacher development in uh, ict by incorporating certain essential principles it reflects a holistic approach to teacher development in ict it acknowledges that ict skills cannot be practiced in isolation from their context it also acknowledges that the development of ICT skills and knowledge for teachers should be an integral part of initial and continuing teacher development programs. As reflected in the National Policy Framework for Teacher Education and Development in South Africa, the holistic approach to teacher development has the following three dimensions adapted from the European Union's core curriculum for termination teacher training. Uh, pedagogical dimension which implies an understanding and application of the opportunities of the use of ICT for teaching and learning in a local curriculum context. A technical dimension which implies an ability to select, use and support a range of ICT resources as appropriate to enhance personal and professional effectiveness and the willingness to update skills and knowledge in the light of new developments uh, collaboration and networking dimension, which includes uh, uh, critical understanding of the uh, added value of learning networks and collaboration within and between partners, and the ability to create and participate in communities of practice, 
these dimensions are embedded in the national and local infrastructure, culture, and context. So, furthermore, when as it is successful integrated into teaching and learning, it can ensure a more meaningful interaction of learners with information. ICT can uh, promote the development of advanced cognitive skills such as uh, comprehension, reasoning, problem solving, and uh, creative thinking, as well as the uh, ability of learners to. So, identify and solve problems and multi seasons using critical and creative thinking strategies. Work effectively with others as members of a team, group, organization, and community. Organize and manage themselves and their activities responsibly and effectively. Collect, analyze, organize, and critically evaluate information. Communicate effectively using visual, symbolic, and language skills, various modes. Use science and technology effectively and critically showing responsibility towards the environment and uh, the health of others and demonstrating understanding of the world as a set of related systems by recognizing that problems cannot be separated from their context. So it's a very basic things that uh, how I see also gives uh, are used differently in different different uh, areas and different different subjects and what's its impact and what's the role of ICT in learning uh, we are living in a uh, digital world so ICT has an impact on nearly every aspect of our lives from working to socializing learning to playing and the digital age has transformed the way and young people communicate, network, seek help, access information, and learn. We must recognize that young people are now an online population. And access is through a variety of means, such as computers, TV, and mobile phones. As technology becomes more and more embedded in our culture, we must provide our learners with relevant and contemporary experiences that allow them to successfully engage with technology and prepare them for life after college. And it is widely recognized that learners are motivated and purposefully engaged in the learning process. When concepts and skills are underpinned with um, technology and surround pedagogy, learning and tech teaching uh, aims to provide resources for practitioners, parents, and pupils to engage with these technologies in order to inform and enhance the learning experiences. The, the positive impact of ICT use in education has not been proven in general and despite thousands of impact studies, the impact of ICT use in student achievement remains difficult to measure and open to much reasonable debate. Positive impact more likely when linked to pedagogy is believed that specific uses of ICT can have positive effects on student achievement when ICTs uh, are used uh, appropriately to complement a teacher's existing, existing pedagogical philosophies. And uh, computer added infrastructure has been seen to slightly improve student uh, performance on multiple choice standardized testing in some areas and uh, computer added or assisted instruction uh, which refers generally to student uh, self-study or tutorials on PCs has been shown to slightly improve the student test stores on some reading and math skills although the such improvement correlates so the real improvement in the student learning is debatable need for clear goals and cities are seen to be less effective or ineffective and the goals for their use are not clear while such a statement would appear to be self-evident the specific goals for ict use in education are in practice or often only very broadly or rather closely defined there is an important tension between traditional versus new pedagogies and standardized testing Traditional transmission type pedagogies are seen as more effective in preparation for standardized testing. This tends to measure the results of such teaching practices. Then are more <coughs> sorry, 
constructive pedagogical styles. Mismatch between methods need to measure effects and my type of learning promoting. In many studies, there may be a mismatch between the methods used to measure effects. And the nature of the learning promoted by the specific uses of ICT, for example, some studies have looked only for improvements in traditional teaching and learning processes and knowledge must instead of looking for new processes. And knowledge related to the use of ICTs, it may be that more useful analysis of the impact of ICT can only emerge when the method used to measure achievement and outcomes are more closely related to the learning activities and processes promoted to the use of ICTs. Use of ICTs for stimulus and modeling in science and math have been shown to be effective as a word processing communication software in the development of student language and communication skills. Relationship between in class student computer use, out of class student computer use, and student achievement are unclear. However, students in many countries reporting the greatest amount of computer use outside school are seen in some studies to have lower than average achievement. Uh, computer use outside of school is disproportionately devoted to computer gaming, and users believe that ICTs make a positive difference. In studies that rely largely on self-reporting, most users feel that using ICTs make them more effective learners, and the impact of ICT on student motivation. ICTs motivate teachers and students. There appears to be general consensus that both teachers and students feel that. ICT use greatly contributes to student motivation for learning and access outside of school affects overconfidence. Not surprisingly, students who use a computer at home also use them in school more frequently and with more confidence than pupils who have no home access. Where to place computers has an impact. Uh, placing computers in classrooms resembles um, much greater use of ICTs for higher order skills than placing computers in separate computer laboratories. Indeed, fewer computers in classrooms may enable even more use than greater numbers of computers located in separate computer labs. Related to this is an increasing attention given to the use of laptops by both teachers and students. And in some places, computers on wheels as well as to a much lesser extent to the use of personal digital assistants and other mobile devices. So, uh, models for successful integrating ICT use in school and after school hours are still emerging. So, there are a few successful models for the integration of student computer use at home or in other informal settings. Outside of school facilitates with using school, the appropriate ages for introducing computers and students are hotly debated. And um, on a general level, appropriate ages for student ICT use in general are unclear. However, it is uh, clear that certain uses are more or less appropriate given the student ages and abilities. Emerging research persons against widespread use at younger ages. And ICTs can promote learner autonomy. Uh, evidence exists that use of IT can increase learner autonomy for certain learners. Gender uh, affects impaired uses of ICTs and education in many cases to be affected by the gender of the learner. And the pilot effect can be an important driver for positive impact. Dedicated ICT related interventions in education that introduce a new tool for teaching and learning may show improvements, mainly because the efforts surrounding such interventions need teachers and students to do more potentially diverting energies and resources from other activities. Uh, ICTs are a potentially powerful tool for extending educational opportunities, uh, both formal and non-formal. So previously underserved uh, constituencies, uh, scattered and rural populations groups traditionally excluded from education due to cultural or social reasons, such as ethnic minorities, girls and women, persons with disabilities and the elderly as well as all other who for reasons of cost or because of time constraints are unable to enroll on campus anytime anywhere 
one defining feature of ICTs is their ability to transcend time and space. ICTs make possible uh, learning or learning characterized by a time lag like between the delivery of instruction and uh, its reception by learners. Online course materials, uh, for example, may be accessed 24 hour day, seven days a week. ICT based educational delivery. Educational programming broadcast over radio or television also dispenses with the need for all learners and the instructor to be in one physical location. Additionally, certain types of ICTs such as teleconferencing technologies enable instruction to be received simultaneously by multiple geographically. This is first learning. So access to remote learning resources. Uh, teachers and learners no longer have to rely solely on printed books and other materials in physical media, housed in libraries uh, for their educational needs with the uh, internet and the world wide web of wealth of learning materials in almost every subject and in a variety of media can now be accessed from anywhere at any time of the day and by an unlimited number of people. This is particularly significant for many schools in developing countries and even some in developed countries that have limited and outdated library resources. ICDs also facilitate access to resource persons, mentors, experts, researchers, professionals, business leaders, and peers all over the world. So active learning and city enhanced learning mobilize this tool for examination, calculation, and analysis of information, thus providing a platform for student inquiry, analysis, and construction of new information. Learners therefore learn as they do end, wherever appropriate work or real life problems in depth, making learning less abstract and more relevant to the learner's life situation. In this way, and in contrast to memorization based on rote learning, ICT enhanced learning promotes increased learner engagement. ICT enhanced learning is uh, also just in time. Learning in which learners can choose what to learn when they need to learn it. And collaborative learning, ICT supported learning encourages interaction and cooperation among students, teachers, and experts, regardless of where they are. Apart from modeling real world interactions, ICT supported learning provides learners the opportunity to work with people from uh, different cultures, helping to enhance learners' learning, teaching, and communicate skills as well as their global awareness. It models learning done throughout the learner's lifetime by expanding that learning is based to include not just peers but also mentors and experts from different fields. Creative learning, ICT supported learning promotes the manipulation of existing information and the creation of real world products rather than the uh, received information. So, integrative learning, ICT enhanced learning promotes uh, a thematic integrative approach to teaching and learning. This approach eliminates the artificial separation between the different disciplines and between theory and practice that characterizes the traditional classroom approach. So uh, evaluative learning as it enhanced learning is a student directed and diagnostic unlike static text or print based educational technologies as it enhanced learning recognizes that there are many different learning pathways and many different articulations of knowledge. ICTs allow learners to explore and discover rather than merely listen and remember. So there are many uh, worldwide research has shown that ICT can lead to improved student learning and better teaching methods. A report made by the National Institute of Multimedia Education in Japan proved that an increase in student exposure to uh, 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 exposure to educational ICT through curriculum integration has a significant and positive impact on student achievement, especially in terms of knowledge, comprehension, practical skill, and presentation skill in subject areas such as mathematics, science, and social studies.
So there are many advantages of ICT tools for education. So ICT images can easily be used in teaching and improving the retentive memory of students. Through ICT, teachers can easily explain complex instructions and ensure students' comprehension. Through ICT, teachers are able to create interactive classes and make the lessons more enjoyable, which would improve student attendance and concentration. So it's very uh, useful for today's. And uh, the toolkit contains a set of resources used to introduce information and communication technology into teachers' education. The utility of these resources are uh, creating an ICT in education strategy, collecting education data, consulting approaches to advocacy, designing curriculum to materials development. So uh, it's very um, uh, demonstrate an understanding of the world as a set of related systems by recognizing that problems cannot be separate from their context. And uh, uh, teacher I said, has knowledge, skills, values, and attitudes. So that's all from my side. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, IoT Academy, and the all team of IoT Academy. Thank you so much for giving me that a wonderful opportunity. Thank you so much, ma'am. If any query, then please. Hello. The session is open for discussion now. Kindly unmute and interact with the resource person or you can post your questions in the chat box. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you.